What's up everybody? I'm Richard and this is Jeremy and we are Fergalicious Barbecue. We're here at the American Royal in Kansas City, Kansas at the Kansas Speedway. Today we're going to be doing smoked calico beans and cornbread. Alright, so to make our Fergalicious Love Muffins here, the first thing we got to do is get one third cup of milk, one third cup of water, and then we're going to drop in one egg with that. We're going to mix that all up. And then as we're mixing that, we're gonna pour in our 15 ounces of the Love Muffin mix and mix that until it's, it's thickened up a little bit. You don't wanna over mix it. We'll let that sit for a second. While that's sitting there, we're gonna get our cast iron skillet and we're gonna spray it with some olive oil spray to kinda of make it no stick. And then we're gonna take our cornbread mix, pour that right in. And we got about six spots here and that 15 ounces will fill up this one pan. Once you fill them up about halfway, you know, give them a little bit of room to grow when, they, when they're cooking. We're gonna put them on the Green Mountain Grill Jim Bowie for uh, give or take 20 minutes at 400 degrees, and we should be ready to roll. Uh, this Fergalicious Love Muffin mix uh, was kind of born from cooking Christmas dinner for the family, and we we're doing some prime rib and some cornbread, and I just took some regular cornbread mix from the store and took our, our uh, Love Rub and mixed a little bit of that into the batter and mixed that all up, put them on the GMG and smoked them up, and the family loved them, and so the rest is history. What we thought here is going really well with these cornbread muffins is some type of a bean dish. And uh, one of the things that I grew up on with my great grandmother is calico beans. It's got hamburger, it's got brisket, it's got bacon, it's got ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce. It's got three types of beans in it. And we just mix all that stuff up. We throw it on the pit and we smoke it for a couple hours. And then you got some bean goodness. Uh, what we're looking for is kind of like a golden brown and, we, and if we can kind of touch the center, if it's, if it's firmed up a little bit, we know they're done. You don't want them to burn on the edges and then we can pull those out, let it sit for a second and then pop them right out of the, right out of the pan. Thanks for tuning in and uh, checking out our new dish with Green Mountain Grills.